This is possibly one of the coolest pieces of technology in agriculture that I have ever seen, and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. So this is the brand new John Deere Sea and Spray Ultimate Sprayer, not to be confused with the Sea and Spray Select Sprayer. So I'm with CMB today. I actually work at CMB during the summer here. I'm down in Ida Grove, where we have one of these pre-production model unit Sea and Spray Ultimate Sprayers. And guys, this is the coolest thing ever. So a little background before I get into it. There is a Sea and Spray Select and a Sea and Spray Ultimate Sprayer. Why are all the trucks so loud in Iowa? Anyway, here's the Sea and Spray Select and Sea and Spray Ultimate Sprayer. The Sea and Spray Select Sprayer can see weeds and uh, spray only the weeds in fallow ground. So, brown on green technology, it sees a green weed over brown or black ground and it'll spray it. The Sea and Spray Ultimate, which is what this is, can actually see weeds and spray only the weeds in standing crops. So no more broadcasting. I mean, you can broadcast with it if you want. I'll get into that later. But we did some demonstrations earlier today here with CMB, where we went out in this field and used Sea and Spray. And I would say that this is a fairly weedy field and we only had a 50, like 54% application rate which is insane. So I'm not gonna give you guys a technical overview, all the numbers and stats and specs. I will link a CMB video down below once it is released. I'll probably do it in the comments and description. Uh, you should go check it out. The guy that does it is pretty cool. But I'm just gonna tell you guys kind of how it works and why I'm so excited for this technology and what it means for farming in the future. So right now the scene spray ultimate only comes in a 120 foot boom and the 120 foot boom has 36 of these cameras spread across the boom and they're pretty dang close together. And not only that, but um, where's one at? They also have 11 of these processing units to tell the spray sprayer when to spray weed. So all 36 of these cameras total are viewing up to 1200 square foot a second at 12 miles per hour, detecting weeds when the sprayer is set to its high sensitivity down to a quarter inch by quarter inch roughly, or roughly the size of your thumbnail. What's also extremely cool about the sprayer that I absolutely love is it is a dual solution tank. So you see the big one and two on the side of the sprayer? So if you have a thousand gallon tank, it is split up 350 gallons for the scene spray and 650 gallons for the conventional spray. Or if you have a 1200 gallon tank, it's 450 and 750 gallons. So what this allows you to do is it actually allows you to broadcast spray and scene spray at the same time. So we have regular exact apply nozzle bodies on here, except for instead of having one two inch line on the boom carrying chemical, we have two one inch lines. And so the top of this exact apply nozzle body is a little bit different because it used to split one into two, one line at two different ports to go to two different nozzles. Now it actually has two physical lines going to it and separating it into those nozzles. So if you go underneath, the back nozzle is a scene spray nozzle and it has to be pointing backwards at a 40 degree angle, as you can see right here. And that is because at 12 miles per hour, in order to achieve a good spray pattern by the time the camera detects the weed, it needs to be facing backwards just a little bit. And uh, the front nozzle is for broadcasting. So this could come in handy in situations where let's say you're spraying fungicide and soybeans but you will also want to kill the volunteer corn you can broadcast your fungicide and see and spray to kill your volunteer corn so at the current moment the sprayer works in corn soybeans and cotton and only in 30 inch rows so basically in the monitor uh, you say i am spraying soybeans and everything that this sprayer sees that's not a soybean it will spray so if you want to kill volunteer corn, you hit soybeans and it'll kill volunteer corn and it'll also spray everything else that's not a soybean in there as well. Or let's say you have residual that you want to spray while seed spraying at the same time. I mean, possibilities are endless here. Spraying Roundup and Liberty at the same time. Guys, I mean, I've been engineering sprayers since I was like four, but I've never come up with anything this good. 
And also, it'll get a lot more into detail in the CMB video that I'll link down below. But uh, like the carbon, the boom is 100% carbon fiber minus the fasteners and a couple of bracing brackets. It's a completely redesigned boom. It is an awesome, awesome boom. We saw some videos of it hitting some stuff and not breaking. Freaking sweet. They also changed the way that it mounts to the back of the sprayer. It's no longer a swing link design, it's on pendulum. They'll, they'll explain that there too. But the reason I love this sprayer so much. And the sea and spray part of this sprayer is not my favorite part. Like, yes, it's awesome. It's awesome that the boom and the sprayer can detect weeds and spray only the weeds. Not only does it help reduce in chemical, but you know, with the different groups pushing farmers to be more environmentally friendly, it helps with that too. But what I absolutely love is the potential that this thing has to collect data in the future. Let me explain. So if you think of all the different types of maps that people are collecting right now, you know, whether it's satellite imagery or if drones, you know, um, scouting for diseases, uh, vegetation index, plant health, stand counts, all this stuff, all these maps that people collect and data that people collect are all taken by cameras. This thing has 36 cameras on it. So it does not have the cap capability to do anything right now other than see and spray and collect. Actually, it does make a couple maps. It does make a as applied map, which I'll show you in a bit. And it also makes a weed pressure map. So it actually it'll show you where the weediest parts of your field are based on you know, where it sees weeds, which is really cool. But, and, and obviously John Deere hasn't, you know, promoted any of this, but I'm just thinking with 36 cameras on a boom, how much data could you collect as you drive your sprayer across the field? You could easily do a stand count map. You could, you know, do vegetation, like I said, the vegetation index, plant health. It's just, it's incredible the amount of data that looking in the future, you know, and, and not just a sprayer, but every single piece of farm equipment that has cameras on it, how much data we could collect while driving across the field. And I understand that collecting data scares a lot of people. And, and I, tr trust me, I do understand. But as a data nerd myself and someone that loves to look at stuff from year to year and different things that could be affecting soil health, plant health, you know, why did this area yield not as much as the area next to it? I freaking love the fact that I think we're going to an area and a place where we will be able to collect this data as we drive across the field. All right, enough of me drooling over the sprayer while walking around in a circle. Let's actually get inside this thing and show you guys how it works. Okay, so the cab of the sprayer is basically the exact same as like a 400 or 600 series sprayer. Um, same monitor, same uh, controls here, radio, everything's the same. However, everything is a little bit different on the Gen 4 display itself because you have different software to run the Gen or the Scene Spray Ultimate sprayer. So, I will run through this in a little bit. Let's uh, let's spray here quick. So, like I said, you can go up to 12 miles per hour. I have it set to 10 right now, and I am overlapping a little bit my last pass, so those end nozzles are not going to be going. But if you watch the footage of uh, the GoPro that I have underneath the sprayer, you can see those nozzles turning on and off. Hopefully you can see them from where you are right there too. So we're going 10, bumped up to 11. Still nice and happy. That boom is keeping itself really low to the ground, but it is not touching. And I am, you know, wiggling around a little bit. This is so cool. Like, just watching those nozzles turn on and off. It knows what it's doing. <laughs> it's also really cool having the opportunity to drive something that there's only a couple in existence of. So thank you CMB, thank you John Deere for giving me the opportunity to do this because this is awesome. So. I just made a couple rounds, this is just our demonstration field, so I haven't done a whole lot, but out of the couple rounds that I made, here we go. So right here, um, right here is a difference between broadcasting and sea and spray. You can see everywhere that that sprayer sprayed. And from this, not only do you get an as applied map, 
but you will get a weed pressure map on Op Center. So it'll tell you where the weeds are in your field because it knows exactly where it's sprayed for those weeds. So actually, I was just playing with this and I figured it out. So here is the applied map. So you can see the where I did broadcast and it, don't worry about turning on and off here. I did all that manually. Um, and then here is the as applied map. And if we click on this, here is a weed pressure map that I was telling you about. So green is basically no weeds and red and yellow is weeds. And then if you have this NOP center, it'll actually give you a percentage like your weed pressure is 55% or 60% or something like that. And what else do we got here? Product, water, coverage, and pressure. Oh yeah, this thing maintains pressure throughout the entire thing too. So when it, when it sees a weed and it releases chemical, it's at a constant pressure as well. You can see in this map right here. That, that's, I'd say that's pretty consistent. And on the Gen 4 monitor over here itself, pretty simple setup. Um, you can click here between sea and spray and broadcast and you can do both at the same time. Here is all the sea and spray settings. So as you can see, we're active. Nozzle turrup setup. Um, sea and spray B only. Let's see, can I change it here? Spray method. Sea and spray, broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. Yeah, so you can change all that in there. I have not spent a lot of time going through this. Fallback mode broadcast. So if there's ever a situation and where the camera is not confident in its ability to detect weeds, it will just simply broadcast that section. So a common example is behind the rear tires where dust is being thrown up. If there's a lot of dust being thrown up behind the main frame of the chassis here, will might just spray broadcast depending on the conditions. Minimum spray width, small. Spray sensitivity, two. So we have five settings. Um, one being the, the least sensitive and five being the most sensitive. And now if we go in the sea and spray section of the boom right here, we can actually view all the cameras. So let's, actually these are sections of cameras. So let's go to the one section of cameras that's 21, 22, 23, and 24. Because if you look at camera 22, right there, the blue is weeds and the green is soybeans, which is awesome that for the fact that you can actually see what it's doing. So let's say you get in a field and you don't know how to set your sensitivity. You can go in here and you can say, oh, it's missing a weed right there. I'm gonna up the sensitivity until it sees that weed. But right here, it sees both that weed and that weed, no problem. And then if we go into menu, we go into auto prime, boom air purge, proc reclaim, you can see solution pump one, solution pump two. Solution pump one, solution pump two. So you can actually product reclaim, um, prime, and what was the other one? Um, air purge, both systems, which is, <laughs> this thing's absolutely incredible. Other than that, everything else seems to be basically the same as a normal exact apply sprayer. Yep, you can go in your spray system. Um, you have tank one and tank two. We currently don't have anything in tank two. So tank one, we have set to 10 gallons per acre. Here's our pressures. Um, just, yeah, just, it's basically the same as normal sprayer, just instead of one tank, there's two. And, and, and there's an awesome AI system that you know recognizes weeds and sprays them only. So there we go, guys. That is the John Deere C and Spray Ultimate Sprayer. This thing is so cool. I am so excited for not only this sprayer, but everything that comes out of the technology that John Deere is implementing of all these cameras and everything they're putting on. I'd just like to thank John Deere and CNB one last time for letting me come out here and make a six gen farmer video on this, show you guys how cool it is. If you want to see more technical specifications and details and all the numbers, make sure you go check out CNB's video. I'll leave a link down in the description and probably a comment as well. Um, the guys that make those videos are super cool guys, so make sure you go check that out. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.